strongest photographic influences were my childhood, um, which were not visual. And so far as I was brought up in a, in a, in a quite a poor family, Catholic family in the north of England, um, I would spend a lot of time on my own in the parks, and railway stations, and so forth. And I think it's during that time that I developed my imagination. And I think imagination is almost more important than a visual sense in, in, in photography. And I was just always good at art. I was good at doodling and uh, drawing and painting, and, 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 I, and I loved it. So it made sense for me to go to an art school, uh, which is what I did. Uh, there I learned about photography and graphics and um, decided to spend the three years uh, studying photography. Um, and so yeah, I became a photographer almost naturally, organically, without making conscious decisions. I just naturally moved into photography uh, and I moved into this sort of photography. Some landscapes you just say, oh, that's beautiful, I need to photograph it. And then you have a connection. And then you might say, well, yeah, but I missed this or this. I have to go back. And then you find that leads to something else around the corner. You say, oh, that's very interesting. So you go back again. You build a relationship. So for me, landscapes are collaborations. They're relationships. They're conversations. It's not me being paparazzi, you know, taking a picture and running away, saying I stole something. It's me having a collaborative conversation with a subject matter. I keep going back to many of the same places. I photograph the tree, same trees over and over again because they change and I change and, and we kind of keep having this <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Sometimes I've been commissioned to go to a certain place and so I, I make certain photographs. Other times I've just loved the place and wanted to go back. My photographs are essentially invitations. They're invitations for viewers to wander into that frame. You know, they're quite small, so, which means you have to engage them. You have to go quite close to the photograph to really see it. And I want viewers to be participants, to be collaborators in a sense. And it's, it's a huge luxury to, to spend time doing nothing, in a sense, just to be. Um, and I have that you know, wonderful opportunity many times, and, and, and I take it. I love it. I often say that it's not the destination I'm interested in, it's the journey. Um, you know, you can never stop learning, you can never stop exploring, and there are so many places to, to, to find. Um, you know, I'm almost 62 years old, time is passing much too quickly for me. Uh, there are all these places I want to go to, there's all these projects I want to be engaged in. Uh, I have my family at home, you know, there's just too much to do in, in, in a sense in life. Uh, so we have to make our choices of, 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 of what we do and, and, and when we do it. Uh, this exhibition is a compilation of, of, of work. Um, I have a new book, Forms of Japan, so there is some work from that book. You know, if you look at any wall, you, know, you have Japan, Norway, New Zealand, France, and the USA. So they're, <laughs> they're, you know, they're all from, from different periods of time, and they're from different locations. My work is generally about uh, the structures, uh, the landscape, the interrelationship between the two. I, I, I print everything myself, um, so it takes a long time. I don't do anything digital, nothing is instant. Everything takes a long time, it's a very slow process. And so I have all these uh, projects, these, the, the, these boxes of, uh, of negatives of work that I need to get to someday. 